Okay, so mates, for us to create this, we're going to use our basic bodies. This is basic bodies for the front parts. I hope that you know how to draft your basic bodies. If you don't know, the link is in the description box. So I'm going to be highlighting it so that it will be easy for us to see it clearly and know what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I'll just take my time and highlight every part of it. Okay, so we're finished highlighting everything. This is chest line, bust line, and the waist line. There is not under bust. There is no under bust. Just the basic darts that we need. Bust that and waist that. No under bust circumference. Okay, so I'm going to trim it out. I'll trim out the basic bodies. Right? All you have to do is just to follow the process of what we are doing so that you'll be able to recreate yours as well. It's very simple, it's that manipulation and it's very interesting to work with. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is on the neckline, what we have is a basic neckline. So if you don't want it to be very high or tight on your neck, you're going to come down by 0.75. You can even do half an inch depending on how you want it to be high on your neck. One inch might be too much. 0.75 is what I did. Okay, so I'm going to be connecting it this way. 0.75 on all the sides. And so I will be cutting it away. Okay. Please, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for being here with us. If you're just new here, please kindly subscribe and watch out for next videos. So I'm going to connect to the neck point where I want this slash to be. Right? I'm going to connect it, rule a line from the bust point, your actual bust point. Then I'm going to slash my waist dart up to the bust point and slash my bust dart as well up to the bust point. Okay. You have to slash it properly. Now once you slash it, you're going to close your darts. Whichever way you can close it this way, you can close it the other way. Whichever way is possible for you, but I'm going to be putting it inside so that you can actually understand where the overlap is going to be right there is no particular way on which side to close and which side not to overlap so I'll go ahead and overlap it the other way around like so then get your masking tape and mask it down Get your masking tape and tape it down so that it stays together. Now you've closed your waist that. One good thing about that manipulation is that it does not change the shape of your garment. It does not change the feet of your garment. No matter what, everything remains the same. Okay? Now the after this, we're not going to slash the from the neck point the mid neck point down to the bust point we're going to slash it and then we close our bust that just have to cut it but not cutting it through so that it will be easy for you to overlap you can see the way it is so as usual, I'm equally going to tape it down. I'm just going to tape it down. Now all the all the slash have been moved to the neck point. Now we're equally going to add more fullness in addition to the dots that we already have because only the dots alone will not give us what we want. So we need added fullness and that is why we slash this other part 
okay so i slash the other part and i'm going to tape it down you can be sure that the two slashes are of the same measurement by using your tape to measure it before taping it down okay so like i said you can use your tape to measure it and make sure that the wideness are the same the both of them are corresponding in uh, in the wideness of the slash all right so so once that is done we're going to equally tape that part down i'm using um silo tape whichever one you have is okay if you have the normal masking tape it's fine if you have the transparent masking tape it's equally fine so this is what we're going to do next i'm going to connect like so you can have 0 0.5 cm from where the um, the paper stops and connect it to the line so that you have everything on equal measurements so i'll trim off the excess i'll trim off the excess I equally trim off the other parts so the shape of our pattern has changed but after sewing the shape of the garment will still come back to be the same so we're going to be placing on our fabric this is the fabric we're going to use or placing it on, on, on the fabric folded into two remember we're just working on the front block the back is just your normal basic bodies there's nothing more attached to it so I'll place it this way making sure that the part where the neck um, the slash is is um, not open is closed okay so I added my seam allowance both to the center front because it's going to have a joining, right? 0 0.75 on this side, 0 0.25 on the neckline, 0 0.5 on the shoulder line, 0 0.5 on the armhole line, and then we we'll have one inch on the side seam. The 0 0.5 I'm talking about is 0 0.5 inch, not 0 0.5 cm. We have one inch on the sides, right? In case, um, you know, sewing allowance is to be on the safe side. Okay, so this is what we have for the front block. Now I'm going to unpin and will start joining and then i'm going to cut a facing right i'm going to cut a facing for this okay so you're going to see the facing that i've got normally this is how it's going to be then we close the the center front so you can see the facing to turn the neckline right it will touch the neckline and it will also touch the lower part so I'll join the neckline and I equally join this lower part too the other part you can just weave it and leave it it's just going to be open and this is the back like I said normal basic for this cut your facing and add your zip zipper allowance so I'm going to turn the neckline and this other part. Now after I cut turning the neckline, we're going to notch to make it easier for it to relax properly. Then on this part too, I'm equally going to notch.
So once that is done, we're going to bring it inside out and give it a very nice ironing. A nice pressing so that every part of it relaxes so well. This is quite interesting to make. I hope to this extent you already know what we are making and it's quite easy for you to finish it up. If you are not a beginner, you can always finish it up very well. But then I finished it as well. So once this is done, the next thing we're going to do is to join the center front. Remember the center front is open. So using a half inch, we're just going to sew it down. Put it together. And then we're going to sew it right up to the parts that have the, that the facing stops. You can still decide to go inward a bit, then use the facing to turn it off. So this is what we have, and we're going to pleat it, pleat it, pleat it, then get a little stripe strap, right? And fold that part to make it form a bow. So when someone sees you and asks, how did you make this bow? You already know what to do. You already know how it came about. All you have to do is simply smile and um, it's up to you to know what to tell the person. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Please, if you love it, give it thumbs up like it share it make a comment if you have any question please ask so i'm just going to sew this and turn it so that it will be easier now see the beauty that we have created that manipulation is always fun you can create any design any style of your choice with it once you understand the basic principles of um, transferring the dots to other locations and you making use of your added fullness okay so see you in our next video i'm just feeling myself because it's so beautiful thanks for watching bye